Okay, this lesson is about the global heat budget and lapse rates. And what we're going to try and do by the end of the lesson is to be able to understand what those two processes are. So um, as you've seen this from the previous video, um, this is what's happening in our Earth's atmosphere at the moment. Um, the Earth's temperature is still, um, therefore there must be some sort of balance between incoming um, radiation and outcoming um, radiation. Um, if there was an imbalance, then obviously it would make temperatures colder or the opposite hotter. Um, we have had differences in um, temperatures. We've had ice ages, so um, that means that temperatures have been a lot colder. And we've had high sea level rises, which means that temperatures in the past have been hotter. Um, basically, the budget is a um, sort of set amount of um, ins and outs. So basically, um, at the poles is um, the area where we don't get a net gain. Our net gains of radiation are around the equator. Um, but overall, there's a net uh, loss throughout the atmosphere and um, the surplus is at the tropics. Um, and that's 35 degrees north and 40 degrees south, roughly. Um, so overall, uh, the movement of energy is that hot air um, from the equator goes towards the poles. Um, so we have cold air going the opposite way to the equator. The energy transfers in two main ways, horizontal, 80% by wind and 20% by oceans. That's why in the lesson I showed you that um, null school image of the wind and ocean currents because horizontally along the surface of the um, uh, that's where we get the transfer um, of energy and then we got vertical um, and that's in the Earth's atmosphere and that's caused by terrestrial radiation conduction convention currents and the transfer of Latin heat by con condensation um, if we didn't get this heat transfer then the Earth's surface would get hotter and the atmosphere would get colder so that's why we need um, for the global heat budget to be consistent um, we need those two types of movement so if one happened the horizontal um, the atmosphere would be colder and temperatures would be um, a lot colder indeed so more likely to get snow where we wouldn't expect it so that's our global heat budget lapse rates are to do with temperatures decreasing as altitude increases that's what's called a lapse rate so on average there's a 6.5 degrees celsius every thousand meters you go up um, so um, when i go and travel and see my in-laws who live in urella um, they're about a thousand uh, meters above sea level we see that there will be a 6.5 per um, degrees Celsius change in temperature but that's just a general um, thing so um, Mount uh, um, Everest being 8,848 meters is approximately 57.5 degrees colder than at sea level however humidity can affect these rates um, so um, this means that we need a better sort of understanding of these lapse rates um, so they do change that um, so basically when we have um, we take into account all the different conditions like humidity rainfall topography basically we call that an environmental lapse rate and that's a better indicator of these lapse rates so these are the processes that are happening in the atmosphere um, every day um, of the year of um, Earth's existence okay thanks